I'm Daily Fix and welcome back to the Split Warlord campaign. We're currently in the Rattlesnake, which has of course been renamed uh, by now. I've not been sitting idly. Uh, I think it's best to just show on the hut what I've been doing. I've been hunting. <laughs> I've been hunting, had a lot of fun with that. Uh, we've mainly been hunting in this territory over here. And so far, oh yeah, it is the name, the Dream of Audacity. I think it's how you pronounce that. So that was the comment about renaming the rattlesnake. What I've been doing is I got myself to uh, Sonra Sentinels. Uh, let's live stream that one real quick. And it is a freighter from the Argon Federation. Well, actually, it used to be from the Argon Federation. Right now, it's ours. Uh, roughly, we have been making... I think like 13 million just by taking those two ships uh, and I don't mind that at all. So the question remains is oh, uh, how will yeah. that's uh, it's great. You know what you'll you'll ignore that real please. Um I don't know where you see that. I don't see it here on the hut at all. Oh that's because I'm not flying. That's fine. Anyhow, the question for me remains whether or not I want to sell these and get the buffalo. So for that, let's quickly take a look. And this one. Uh, large. Uh, the Sora Sentinel on a low preset uh, would be fine. And then we'll get the buffalo. Uh, it's a buffalo, right? Is it? Not? Maybe? Yeah, it is a buffalo. I just didn't see it. That's fine. Low preset and confirm that. So the buffalo is... Holy crap. It has a lot less container storage. As for the speed, it's not twice as fast. So maybe not too interesting. I'm kind of checking out. It has the traveling one. Which one would be better? Yeah, most likely the traveling one. Let's, uh, you know what, let's go high, high preset, high preset on both of them and just do a fair assessment. Needs to be desk that one, otherwise it's going to be unfair. Let's confirm that real quick. Okay, so it is like that, huh? The traveling speed of the Sonra Sentinel with the Arkan Federation engines is way faster. However, the cruising speed isn't as fast and it's well very good because I am actually very capable at, well, staying in a short-ish range. I don't want to get too close because some of these Soros actually have plasma cannons and oh, they do hurt. <laughs> they do hurt. Um, what else can we say about that? Uh, well, I don't think we'll change them to buffaloes, to be fair. The Holland shields are brilliant. I like that. And the speed, even though it is less, I don't mind that as much because the container storage really makes up for it. So, yeah, we'll be definitely keeping the Sora Sentinel if we can just, you know, take them the way we have been doing. Uh, we are currently over there. So, at the moment, in the Dream of Audacity, we are having five veterans marines. Awesome. I hope to see a lot more of those. And the way I've been going about it is just getting real close, quickly scan to see how much crew. Now, the Sora I got last had over, uh, I think, like 115 crew members. And my 60 Marines actually did a, an amazing job. So, the more, well, higher level Marines we get, the easier the taking over of the ship will actually be. The less uh, of the Marines will actually get killed. So, this ship will actually be perfect. And I was actually quite surprised about that. For now, we are going to do something else. So, I've been getting comments about the way we set up the uh, the Dream of, of Audacity. And it's currently having the... Stop that, because that was an alert. And I was going to say about the shot. We need to get the flag cannons... From uh, the free company. Now, where was that alert coming from? I can, I should be able to see that in my log. 
So in Heretic's End, there was an alert. I'm currently eyeballing that. Okay. I'm um, not really sure why. We could actually start... Eventually, I want to take over one of these, but they usually have a, a very high amount of crew. 139. I want to get a few more capable guys before taking a transport ship. I'm quite curious on why that alert actually triggered. I, I really, really quickly want to take a quick look at all of the Xenon activity. They've been starting to pound the defensive station. I would really like to join that, but that is quite a dangerous thing to do. Yeah, this station is at has it, it's seen better days. It has seen better days. We'll just keep an eye on that. So, what is the goal? Well, I'm currently positioned the Jaguar uh, over here in the Fires of Victory, and we're going to be exploring. Uh, the free family territory. And when we have done that, I'm most likely going to be selling the transport ships. I got a comment about that saying like, hey, it's it actually works without the trading ship. You just need a few to trade the West for your own empire. So I'm really looking into that. For now, let's head over to the dragon real quick. Okay, so... We made it to the Jaguar by just teleporting. I, I left some ships at uh, strategic locations, of course. Um, the defensive platform in this system was actually under attack by... I don't know if you can still see it. Um, where is it? There? No, okay, it despawned. There was a K just hovering over there. Uh, that's the pause button, don't want that. Go away. So, the idea is going to be simple. We're not going to be placing the satellites. I will definitely do that in my own time. But we're going to be looking for a place to start our stations right over here. Because we do need to actually build it up. What's over there? That's a satellite. That is... Yeah, I've, I've, I didn't know you could do this. But zooming out will actually <laughs> show you that. Uh, I noticed that while playing Star Trek Into Worlds, or Star Wars Into Worlds, sorry for that. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, that object will bring me, I believe, in Xenon territory over here. There needs to be another gate over in this particular sector, so we're going to be setting up towards that hostile... Uh, I think it's a, just a production facility. But yeah, going about in this systems might be a bit more tricky than with the Patriarch. Because I don't know how the Xenon um, re reacted in these sectors. Because they're quite boxed in the same way as uh, we are at the, as the Patriarchy. Okay, let's quickly jump to the next system. See what's going on over here. I don't want to get out of traveling speed while doing this. Because I don't know if... Yeah, look at that contested. I'm thinking Xenon activity is uh, quite high in this particular sector. But we'll, uh, we'll definitely take a look at that. Uh, station. Station. Halls of Judgment. Okay. I don't really see... That much. I did have to give. I, I think I gave myself a Mark II. Yeah, a long range Mark II. So I should actually see a bit more than this. We'll, um, we'll find a region that has a lot of ore. And hopefully it is stable enough to build myself a solid distribution hub. The way I've set it up like over here. Uh, it's going to cost me a bit. But... If we can start selling ores over here, then that would be fine until we start the ore refinery and the silicon wafer facility. Uh, right now, all of them have all of their money, so we could easily just take money from those existing stations and play around with that. Okay, well, in the next sector, I kind of do want to really quickly take a look. 
There's nothing over there. Alright, that's a bit of a shame. It's fine. The Hulls of Judgment. Now, that is part of the storyline. I'm not sure if I want to do the storylines just yet. Okay, I think that is... The gate over there. I'm not sure. Or it is the wolf, one of the others. Can't really tell right now. Um, you. No. Object, that's the gate. Indeed. There might be another gate over here. I'm not sure if this will split into two different zones. Because there is a lot of emptiness here on my left. Let's quickly take a look. Now it seems like it's pretty... There is a buffalo, so there's definitely something over there. But I am unable to tell. Oh well. Uh, we definitely did bypass the gate. Luckily this ship is quite fast and I do like the Jaguar for it. Uh, would it still work if I flow in from this angle? Well, I'm not sure. Let's quickly check that out. I'm hoping for a another Argon Freighter. Okay, let's take Entering a look. Ravine eight. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four already. The day I'm going to assume there's another four. I know there's a bit up here from previous playthroughs, so there should be a guide. Do I see it? Yeah, there, right in front of me with my mouse, there is the gate. Come on. Uh, helium, hydrogen, ice, and methane. Well, it's... This isn't contested, right? There is... There's plenty of silicon, and I'm sure there's more when we start building. Would this be an okay location to get started? I do not know. I kind of have to find the other sectors first, and I know there's a Xenon sector uh, at the end of, uh, of one of these. Seems like there is the... This looks like an equipment uh, dock. Not sure if that is actually the case, though. Okay, let's do another long-range one. Yeah, equipment dock. And a bunch of stations. Good. Quickly take a look at the audacity, because... Sometimes I do miss the alerts. Now, all of these sectors I will start exploring with this Jaguar, of course. Um, but I don't think... Oh, this is great. Entering That's Fargus freaking Ravine perfect. Yeah, okay. So this is the end of that then. Oh my. Did, is this supposed to be Xenon already? That's, that's a good view though. I'm going to use that. Oh. I like that. Um, interesting. It could be that the... The Xenon have been... Really destroying the free families. But we'll take a quick look right now. If there's other gates in there. I'm thinking there should be two Xenon sectors. Unknown station. That is Xenon. No, I think this might just be the end system then. Then definitely everything shuffled. Still cool though. Then we definitely missed something in Targa's Ravine. So let's quickly head over there. 
And I do think that we'll start the construction of this station in this particular sector. So how large was our solar distributor? It's six by four by four. That's that's quite a bit though. Place well, it down there somewhere. Uh, a six by four by four. Where's the defensive station? Is 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 that the defensive station? I want to be close to a defensive station, if anything. Let's at least scout that out before we commit. Orders. Just just stay over there. Don't tell me you need orders, okay? Just deal with it. Oh, but that is an alert. Heretics end. Oh, is it because... Uh, oh, this is not Heretic's End. This is Heretic's End. Don't tell me it just gave me a, an alert because of... He's giving me alerts because of this, right? This is probably Terran. Let's remove the Terrans from the alert. Real quick. Firm changes, Terran Protectorate. Let's remove that. Uh, we're targeting L ship, so it's I think that the construction ship in the vanilla game are XL instead of L in the Star Wars Interwords. It is actually a large ship, I believe. But I'm thinking it's giving me a five minute interval on this particular ship. Now, mind you, we did actually take two ships from uh, the Argon Federation. So, it's likely we won't see anything autopilot. over there in a while. I do not want to have the autopilot deal with this. Thank you. Entering Argus Ravine. Eight. Also, missing a defensive station in this particular location. Don't like that at all. So we might eventually have to... Another one. Heretics. Okay, what is giving the alert? Yeah, this is going to be a, a bit of a... Well, more different episode, of course. Because we're basically just exploring again. We're finding a... We're, we're prospecting. <laughs> prospecting for a new location for our mines. We also need a lot of money to get it off the ground. But eventually that station will pay for its uh, cells because it will start accumulating resources. And then we can just start selling those. So I do need to find the raid station so we could st uh, sell Neverium. Of Neverium? Neverium? Let's see where we're actually going to be getting. Entering Argus Ravine 16. Alright, that's cool, I guess. Uh, wait, where the hell am I? I'm over here. Oh, yeah, that's, of course, where I need to go, then. There is, but there needs to be something over there. And I see it right over there. There's the gate. There's the gate. Kind of hoping that it will still reveal a lot of the resources right now. This will only get up because we're exploring more and more. Once we get close to the gate, I'll do another long-range scan. But I'm thinking this is definitely where we're going to be building. And I think that over there is a defensive base. So I want to be close to that due to Xenon activity. I don't want to lose any of my, well, ships. Maybe to the, uh, the Kach or whatever. Let's quickly do a long-range scan. Station. Okay. We are actually going to take a detour towards the defensive station. Uh, because you cannot build a station in a location you have not found. So if we just fly near that, then 
That would be fine. Heretics and location again. Wait, I think there is another one. Yes, that's why we've been getting the alert. Uh... No, it's any, any object. Dum dum. <laughs> every time, every five minutes, I'm getting a, a, an alert because it has a object in its vicinity. All right, this this is fine. I love the whiteness of the asteroid over there. It's really bright. Uh, right now, eyes the or not too great. Uh, let's quickly head over there. Uh, disabled autopilot again. Because it's likely that we'll find another base. Or another sector with a lot of asteroids. Okay, now that's not something I want to hit. We are not going to be replaying the Titanic. Don't need an, an ice asteroid. Oh, wow. Yeah, I rem Oh, yes. This is such a gorgeous system. But I think this is... Yeah, there will be another gate, but that's going to be inactive. Because that's part of the storyline, I think. So it will probably be over there. And there is all silicon. Uh, a good amount, actually. Split wharf. There is the gate. We'll actually head over there. I also spotted over there the uh, the shipyard. Now I think this one is inactive. You can see that it's no orange, and it's just called an accelerator. So I don't. Luckily, I do not use a mod or collision. 200% sunlight. Actually, very, very interesting. Let's do a long range scan, but I'm Just going to think him. that that is. Let's do quickly do another one. Come on. It has to be this one. Engaged. Solar power plant. Shelt Aquarium. Hmm. I'm not sure anymore. It doesn't show me anything. Where's the wolf? Does it actually matter? Not really. No. Do I want to find it? Yes. Now, I think we'll uh, we'll start building over here. Uh, a buttload of ice, a good amount of ore, a good amount of silicon, and there should not be xenon activity. If the xenon start taking over, ravine, what is it, 5, 6, 7, 8? Darkens ravine 8, then that will be problematic. That, of course, was uh, a resource probe. What are these? Miss, uh, no, I'm missing that station. That's really awkward. It's fine. We'll start construction over here. Even though there's more silicon over The ships will most likely still go here for silicon. But for ore, by definition, this is a better system. Let's quickly do the new plot. That's going to be a 6x4x4. Four four. We'll just place it down. I'll do it. I want to do it differently, actually. Is this the one that I was... No, I don't need that one. It's this one, I think. Yeah. Do it like... Right over there. Buy that license. That's going to be where we will get started. Did I save the solid distribution? Because I quite like the design. Very simplistic. We need to get out of this view first. And definitely don't have that. Let's do solid 
distribution. Uh, the second I'll play Star Wars Into World, this will be a rendered obsolete. I don't know. Um, it keeps reminding me that I'm missing... Like this one, okay, that's obvious. But you'll see next time when I load this in, it will say like, hey, you're missing stuff from Star Wars Into World, which I've not used it at all. But okay, fine. Fun by me. Anyway, let's quickly go... To this one. Continue. Well, look at how gorgeous this system is. It's so good looking. I, I want it to be this way because of the gate. Uh, let's quickly load in that. That's precisely how I don't want it. Great. Uh, what is the... 90 degree. Then... I think that's pretty much centered. That's going to be where we'll start. This will cost me... Holy sh... That's, uh, that's a bit... Oh, wow. Uh, did not expect that to be that much. Uh, any luck with a construction ship nearby? No. Well, we could use the... Antigon or the um, the patriarchy, but I don't want to. So let's go scout. Come also, uh, surrender. No, uh, where can? You. Come on, man! I'm just at a negative five. What are you complaining about? I'm going to be assisting you in so many ways. You just cannot envision it yet. There's definitely two things over here. Let's let's check that out real quick. That shipyard needs to be here somewhere. I it should be in the in the same sector. Unknown object. Unknown station. Unknown station. That's great. Split wharf. Yeah, that's the wharf. Ore refinery. That's an ore refinery. Oh. That's fine as well, I guess. There might be... No, there's no construction ship nearby in here. That's a damn shame. That's, uh... Ryden's over there. Let's really quickly check out how our dream is doing. We might need to change location of our hunting ground. Also, let's take a quick look if this is contested already. No. So, the Xenon aren't really pushing. I was kind of hoping that we at least would find one freighter. And I kind of don't want to start hunting in this terrain. Even though there's right, one over right over there. But we would be... Absolutely getting arrest, and also when we take it over, it would be somewhat problematic because you don't know where it will trigger. There we go, we have found our construction ship, and it is free family, so that is a great. Are you let's continue? Are you getting resources? Yes or no? Uh, the energy cells, the clay phronics, all we need to start construction is going to be the hull parts. Let us go to my location real quick. Select you. There we go. So that is going to be done. Awesome. Let's figure out what we can do next because now, yeah, I'm quite debating on where to go. There's a lot of this... Unknown stations getting constructed, apparently. Are you getting destroyed over here or somewhere? It's possible because the um, the Taladi have some sectors also adjacent to these sectors. We could actually go check them out. I know the gate over here will connect to an area where it will connect back to uh, the ravine over here. And I still need to find the wharf because I'm interested to see how expensive it would be if uh, if I were to get a ship over here. Maybe it's cheaper.
So we're just going to go over here. There should be a station. Wow, it actually tells you scanning array, even though it's a question mark. That's nice. Maybe the wharf is actually in this area. I don't know. No, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll explore some of the Xenon territory, see what's going on. Autopilot disengaged. I think I know where I Entering might want to hunt. And I'm thinking about uh, Napoleon's fortune. It's a uh, territory that's not being occupied by anyone but the skill play pack. Question remains though. Do we dare staring or steering our rattlesnake through a sector like that? No gate in here? You kidding? There is a gate right over there. Okay, we'll use that. Now, it's either going to be Free Family or it's going to be Xenon. Hmm. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's from the mission, so he won't get killed. Same as this guy. He was attacked by five or six of these. I ended up killing them, but... You know... Didn't really matter, because their shields will never go down. They're scripted to survive. Oh, okay. Entering well, system. Family took her. cool. Um, where can we find? There's the gate to Xenon sectors. There is another gate. Let's quickly just align over there. We'll get back, and then figure out what to do, where to do it. We could also hunt the Argon Federation over here. Even though it's just space fuel, it, it's one uh, factory. I don't think there's going to be a lot of... Um... Unknown station. Oh boy, that's a Xenon ship. Uh, Xenon station, I think. Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, that's fantastic. Let's at least get towards the next one. Entering yeah, this. Matrix there's two number. gates, one to the left, one to the right. One. Definitely Xenon activity going on. Uh, it looks like the three families are having a tougher time than we are currently having. Great systems, though. Yeah, there's going to be another matrix system over here. Uh, linking to this gate, but we'll take that later. First off is that gate. If it's not inactive. Definitely no. Don't want to hit that. Oh, Enter look at that, Taladi. Cool. So, this is where the faction representative is of the Taladi. Nice. So, maybe. Let's uh, get out of travel draft. Maybe, just maybe. This isn't too bad. Now that we know there's another gate over here, which will most likely lead to this system. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, six, eight. 
it, I feel like we're missing um, a sector. Also, uh, these two are not doing anything. The reason for it is they're full. So we'll just do one of them. A sign over there as a trader. I did assign two of these guys. There was three miners over here. But they were filling up quite nicely. And yeah. Ooh, what's going on there? Why there's no energy? Interesting. That's a problem. We might need to build an energy base over here though. The POS is clearly... It's also... We sh we're relying on the POS... We should not be doing that. One of the reasons is skill play pack will hunt <laughs> our ships. Um, can we find a system here that has more than just a hundred? I don't think they actually reworked that. That's 142. They actually did rework that then. 210. Uh, one, two, three. We need a level four manager for that. How are you doing? You're currently getting towards a level 3. Level 3. Level 3. No, okay. We'll just build that right over here. Let's quickly do that. Um, that's also going to be expensive though. We could take the design of the ore refinery. Keep it weird the way it is already. I know because it's quite off offset. I did that on purpose. Because why not? Why why not try something new? How large are these? These are actually 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Interesting. Uh, so this would work. Quickly just drop you down. Right over there. And we'll buy ourselves another factory. Don't want to use that. Let's get with a cross first. Align that. So. Actually reset that. Ah, oh, great. We'll just start with that then. Fine. Might need to go a bit lower than that. Because of the solar panels. Also, we need... These. No, that, that would... I think this would be the better solution. Because they'll fly in from over this side. And same goes for this one over there. Now we need storage. Container storage, you can still fit at the bottom. Now where can we fit the energy production? It would actually still fit over like this. So it will keep that with very weird design. I don't want to get too much storage done because I, I want to keep it uh, selling and this is going to be yeah, that, that's that's expensive enough. Let's go high preset, change the modules. Let me quickly go over that. That's done. It's using plasma. Not a huge fan of that. I, I prefer yard. At least it's filling both of them. Cool. From that, 2 million, assign a builder. Which one's nearest? He's busy. It's a damn shame. Okay, get you done. Uh, and we'll need some money, so we'll definitely take that from the factories. Give me your money. 
confirm and confirm now do we get rid of these two additional ships it's it's still two million but we can also assign them well we'll just we'll leave that up for debate that looks good this looks good Okay, at least we got something done this episode then. Like I said, until we reach uh, a somewhat of an economical... Um, how do I say that correctly? Um, that we're free to do whatever it is that we want to do without having to worry about money. Then... There's no really much of a warlord thing going on. Also, that's the wrong gate. I'm not interested in that right now. We are just going to head back to the free family territory. Shuyako, Sentinel. Jump gate, matrix, number four, five, one. At least I have got a good amount of large ships over here. To deal with the Xenon invasion. Look at all of these ships though. Okay, so the gate straight ahead is the one that I want to take. Yeah. These guys will be following me for a bit. I don't think there was some on my right. Well, actually is a gate over there. We'll take this gate first, and then... Uh... Oh, wait, is that not the gate that I came out of? Yes, that's the gate I came out of. Heretics End. There is something there. Oh, my, look at that. Okay, fine. You. Where will he go? It's possible he go. He will go to the Boron. We might need to find the Boron to get a bit of an understanding on where they go. But I want to move the Rattlesnake over here so we can start boarding operations over there. So quickly tell this guy to get in somewhat close. I don't dare to uh, jump out of this ship in the midst of uh, Xenon territory. But we're going to be docking this guy up and we're going towards the Rattlesnake. I can't promise you it will be more interesting. <laughs> because, you know, it, the game is what it is. Uh, there is a gate to my right. Quickly take a look. Yeah, that is precisely the gate. Okay, let's stop. Let's do a quick layer range scan. That is the guy that I need. There should not be anything in this uh, sector anymore. There could be another system over here though. Data vault. Oh, that's great. Awesome location, love that. Yeah, I'm not going to stop for that, though. Um, we might... Right. Entering system. Fires of victory. Okay, cool. So, let's head over to... Auto the defensive base. Engaged. Don't see anything flying over here, so that is a bit of a show. We'll dock up. I'll teleport myself back to the rattlesnake. And hopefully we can start another boarding operation. And he is actually, look at this. He is heading towards the right location. So when he starts traveling, he will go there fast. We'll scan him quickly. I will hunt him. I don't care where he goes. I will hunt him down. He is going to be mine. He just doesn't know this yet. 
And I will use this ship. Autopilot disengaged. To drop satellites. He has 50 satellites aboard. Short range transporter D. Come on. Uh, what kind of a... Uh, stop that. Okay, hold position. It's great. Let's quickly... Where am I again? I'm over there. Okay, one, two, three. That's fully docked. One, two, three. Can I just go here right now? Welcome. Yes. Oh, I love teleportation. Entering system. Wretched skies. All right. Come on, Captain, me Captain. There is our target. My man, I'm going to be requiring the wheel here. Satellite. No. Sonra, Vanguard. He is traveling at a negative rate? Interesting. What is he doing? Did he bump into something? Traveling at negative 1500 meters a second. All right, let me um, let me get close enough. Would be my third uh, Sora Vanguard, which um, not bad at all. Okay, and I might have to shoot him once though. I'm getting through my uh, my shield, sir. Let's get in the way. Come on. Yeah, I knew you failed. What do you think you're doing? I'm I'm excuse me, ma'am. I didn't mean to. Uh wow. Um okay, that's a boarding strength 158. 81. That's perfect. What are you transporting? You're transporting hull parts. Well, don't mind me. So let's quickly we might actually get damaged by this, but oh, we'll just see. Let's right click boarding. We'll go. Very strong, very strong. The recruits and the veterans. And we're going to be maintaining distance to start the operation. Let's unpause and just... Oh, we want to stay at the front for a bit. Uh, because there is, I think, not too many turrets. Pod launched. Moving to target. Stay sharp. And it seems like he's having pulse lasers and not plasmas. That's fine, we'll just leave. Contact. Make, preparations to Make your preparations, sir. We're coming about. No plasmas is absolutely perfect. It seems like we only lost one boarding pot would be... Contact. Sad if uh, if we would lose the veterans. All right, match speed. Now we could shoot him, of course, but what's the point? Autopilot. Okay, autopilot. Okay, what what did we actually lose? So it seems like my boarding strength is 906. So that means my veterans didn't die. Apparently... All 60 marines were able to board. Which is quite interesting since one of the pods, I think, they did say, was destroyed. Oh, he's under attack. Oh, that's perfect. None of them actually failed. That is good. That is really good. So this might take a while. So I'll just follow the ship for a bit. And because the... I think this is the Pyranid, right? Um, yeah. Uh, the Parsec. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, the Pyranid. There we go. They are not hostile with us. Uh, even if they flee into that sector, I don't have to care about that at all. We could potentially replenish our marines. But I don't want to get too many of them. I want to upgrade them till it, until they are elite. 
And then I don't even care about scanning anymore. Because they're so strong. Well, this is taking longer than anticipated. And we know the gist of it. I'm just going to be flying behind this guy. Staying clear of anything that might shoot us. And next time, when we start an episode, I'm hoping to have this ship on a advanced auto trade. And the other two stations up and constructed. So, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.